It's time now for our Friday business report with Miro Kopik from SDSU and Bottom Line Marketing. So, Miro, welcome. Thanks, Ebony. So, this week, <laughs> Apple sweetened the deal. San Diego Mayor Kevin Faulkner and Apple representatives announced that they'll actually be bringing, the company will be bringing 1,200 jobs to its new campus, location TBA. This is up from 1,000 when it was first announced in December. So, Miro, what do we know about the jobs that will be brought, and what could a larger Apple presence mean for the region? Well. As, as the mayor said, a larger Apple presence is great for San Diego. Um, the types of jobs are going to be engineering and software jobs. Apple is really looking at bringing their modem business in-house. They used to use Qualcomm chips for their phones um, when there was this kind of you know, lawsuit between the two companies that uh, Apple contends that Qualcomm charged them uh, ro the incorrect royalty fees. Qualcomm contends that they violated the patents. This resulted in $2 billion of lost revenues for Qualcomm. During this time, Apple's been working with Intel. In the new 5G world that we talked about last week, Qualcomm is way ahead of everybody, including Intel. So Apple's saying, we need to bring this stuff in-house so we can manage our own future. Because right now, over half of Apple's revenues are from cell phones. So Apple is no longer a computer company, it's a cell phone company. And so these jobs are really important because the modem kind of drives the, the, the cell phone device. And so this is really important for Apple, and I would suspect that 1,200 is not going to be the number. Over time, it's going to be much greater. And what they found is that since Qualcomm over the last year has laid off well over 1,500 employees, many of whom would fit these specs for uh, Apple, they are, um, they've got the pick of the litter right now. So staying here in San Diego, um, there's some, some good news for, for renters. Um, based upon a San Diego Union Tribune report, rent prices shouldn't go up significantly this year, and that's based on a, a new study and some expert analysis. Um, can you talk about what's causing the slowdown? Well, you know, San Diego is still the ninth most expensive market in the country for rent. Um, we've had double-digit rent increases since the recession, and as recently as 2015, almost 8% increases. So for this year, they're expecting a 1% to 2.5% rent increase, which is, is great from a um, um, capping the price on rentals, but we it's very expensive to, buy, to rent. So an average one-bedroom apartment is $1,500. An average two-bedroom apartment is $2,000. It's comparable to L.A., Sacramento, and San Francisco. What's driving this is there's been a lot of multifamily housing being constructed, not just in San Diego, but all over the country. So rents all over the country are only growing at just under 1%. So that really helps um, maintain the level of rent. There's more housing that's available. And at the same time, our single family housing market, sales have declined because the pricing has gotten to the point where people can't afford those homes. And so renting is still a better option for many people who would like to stay in San Diego. So moving on, um, currently Charlotte Roos is having a, a liquidation sale, so I should be going there soon. But um, bad news for the company because it is announced that after filing for bankruptcy, it's actually going to be sh shutting its locations here in San Diego and across the nation. And it's it's far from alone. This week, Victoria's Secret, Gap, J.C. Penney, and Tesla all announced store closures. And we've spoken about this before. You've said that traditional retail stores are not going away. Way. But what could this mean for, for malls? Because many of these stores have prominent positions in malls across America. A lot of times malls are really reimagining the mall to create a better experience for consumers with a lot of different things, including restaurants, theaters, and other, other things. So it gives the mall operator the opportunity to kind of uh, clean out space, restructure the space for new and better tenants. Um, a lot of the other stores are just restructuring. So the Gap or Victoria's Secret, they're just closing some stores of the thousands of stores that they have just so they can be more profitable and be in better locations for them. Even, as you mentioned, Tesla, they're a little bit of an Ball, they're closing all their stores because they are only going to sell online and they're 
trying to get, and one of the reasons is they need to get the price of their Model 3 down to 35000 which is the promised price, in advance of every other auto manufacturer making their cars electric or hybrid within the next five years. So they want that market share lead, and that's why they're closing their stores. Very interesting. Thank you so much for making sense of it all. Thanks, Carol Kopik, thanks for joining us. Thank you.